Hey everybody, Dr. Technician is here, for helping you go further, faster in technical fields. Today I'm going to show you a simple easy way to motion track in Adobe After Effects. If you are new here, consider subscribing. First open up After Effects. And create a composition. Let's call it text tracking. And import any footage, text or any object to project panel. That you want to attach to the final clip. Add footage to timeline panel. In this footage, we are going to create motion tracker for this vehicle. Go to window menu, and select tracker, to open tracker panel. Make sure your motion source is on your video footage. Once again select footage layer, and select track motion from tracker panel. Once you click that, the tracker tool will appear on your screen. The outside box is the search region, which tells After Effects where the element will be found. And the inside box is the feature region, that defines the region that you want to track. The small plus sign is the attach point for the tracker. We have to pick a part of the image with good contrast, so the tracker can work efficiently. Now it's time to analyze the footage, we have to watch it as it goes as it's analyzing. Keep eye on the tracker, and watch for any drifting that may happen. The tracking point stays in the same spot of the image the entire time. This isn't a very long clip so it shouldn't take too long. Ok, we'll scrub through it and make sure the tracking point analyzes the footage. And as you can see, it's placed keyframes of the tracking point at the start and end points. We'll just scrub through, and it looks like, the track worked beautifully. If you do have drifting occur, just manually adjust each tracking point to stay on the same spot every time. But if you choose a good spot with good contrast, you shouldn't have that problem. Next, right click here in project panel, and hit new, then null object. And this layer will be the layer that captures your motion track. Next step is to go to tracker panel. Hit Edit Target, and make sure that the layer is set to the Null layer. That way we can parent the track onto any object we want. Then hit OK, then hit Apply. Apply dimension set to X and Y. Hit OK and now that track is paired to the Null layer. Then we're going to grab Callout layer to Project Panel. You can download Callout for free, using the link we've already put in description. Here all we have to do is, attach this Callout layer to this Null layer. Before that we have to adjust scale of Callout. Select Callout layer, and press S to open up scale of the layer. Adjust scale of the layer as you want. Then move this Callout point to corner of circle of the Null layer. Next step is attaching of callout and null object. Grab this little icon and merge with null layer. There you see the parent and link change to null. Now the null layer track is parented to the object, so if we scrub through here, you can watch our text it is perfectly synced up with the track. In case you want change the text, open up callout folder, which is we imported to project panel. Expand all, select text block composition. Using this pre-composed composition, we can change or edit texts. Perfect. Look at the result, it's amazing. Thanks again for checking out this video. If you get any progress using this video, give me a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe for more videos like this. And again Dr. Technician, helping you go further, faster in tech. Keep crushing it we will talk soon.